Will here from Zero Fox Giving Guys. Today I am doing a little bit of a gear video. Uh, this is something that I get a lot of questions about all the time. Um, a lot of people want to see through them. A lot of people are always posting on the different thermal and predator hunting Facebook pages about this question. So I wanted to do a quick video on it. And it is on my iRay helmet mounted thermal binoculars. Um, these are actually the ML19 ones. Uh, so this is the 384 version. Uh, these are not the 640 version. Um, there's a few reasons that I did not go with the 640 version. Uh, first of all, I run a 640 resolution scope. Um, so I run a Halo XRF on my rifle. Um, so when I'm looking, I'm mainly using these just to scan. So they're on my head. I'm constantly swiveling my head. I'm looking for, for animals and things like that. And then if I see something, then it's pretty good distance. Um, I'll just switch over to my scope real quick. And then at that point, if it is something like a coyote or whatever, we end up hunting that night, um, I'm already on the scope and ready to shoot. Um, the clarity of these uh, is absolutely awesome. As you can see, it's pretty clear footage for a 384. My camera's doing kind of some funky stuff, so it may not be as clear as it actually is in person. But you can pretty clearly see stuff. Um, you know, you might notice from the front, um, they have a, I don't know how well you can see it, they have kind of a cap. Um, this one had one also, but my daughter decided to stick her finger through it and ruin it about two hours into having it. Um, I've got it on a complete Wilcox bridge system. So with this Wilcox system, it is a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for. Um, these are not cheap by any means. I think they're a couple thousand dollars a piece for the monocular. Uh, so... I want to make sure I spend a little bit of money on my mount. Um, it's fully adjustable. Um, you get good vision through it, and I'm not worried about it falling off at night. And I also have a tie down on here as well. Um, with this mount, they can pan out this way for storage. And then also, you have a button here. They can go up completely like this. So you've got multiple different ways to stow them if they're not using it. Uh, preferably for me, I flip them out like this. Um, the good thing about that is I can just run one. If I'm looking around, I still want to have my other eye, um, or I can run two. Um, the thing about these guys, uh, a lot of people are talking, they mess with your eyes, they mess with your eyes. You have to get used to them. They have to be, number one, adjusted properly, and then you have to get used to them. Um, what I tell people is, um, if you don't have any experience on it, try to find somebody that has some that you can try. Uh, because it's a big investment to jump into two. Me personally, um, I'm used to duels. I know what they're like. Um, I've worn them for a lot of a lot of hours, uh, so I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. Um, but you know, one is also a good option. Um, they also need to be adjusted properly. There's a lot of little infinite um, adjustment settings on here that you can do to make them fit your eyes perfectly. Uh, if you have it set for you personally and your buddy wants to look through it, say, and you hand it to him, it's not guaranteed it's going to be set up for him. He might have to do a little bit of tweaking on it. And if it's not tweaked just perfectly, it's going to mess with your eyesight. You're going to get a little bit of blurriness, um, potentially make you go cross-eyed a little bit even. So you just, you know, you have to make sure everything is tweaked for your liking. Um, if you'll see, I got a little bit of electrical tape on here. What I have found with these uh, they take the CR123 batteries, um, they completely eat through them. So, I mean, I'm getting like an hour max of a CR123 battery. And if you know anything about them, uh, they are expensive batteries. So instead of doing that route, I have a um, cables and a little cable system wired to the back. And I have a couple of anchor packs here. Uh, what I have found with these anchor packs, they fit perfectly for two of them right in the back of this helmet pouch. And also, they last a long time. Um, if these are both fully charged on a Friday night and we go hunt a tournament, which is usually Friday and Saturday, and then we check in Sunday, um, these still have over half battery uh, per. So I never have the issue of running out. Um, and it's a much cheaper solution than 
running a bunch of one, two, threes and constantly changing those batteries and messing with them. Um, these do have all the different color palettes, white hot, black hot, uh, fusion, uh, all that good stuff. Um, another big thing that I will, I'd like to say, um, I almost did not buy these PVS 14, uh, eyepieces that go on here. They're a little bit expensive. I want to say they're like 600 bucks a piece or something like that. But I am very glad I did because they make a world of difference. If you are going to helmet mount these, spend the extra money on the PVS 14 eyepiece. It makes everything so much better. Uh, so much better clarity, so much better eye relief, and it actually opens the picture up more so you see of it and see more of it. So you're not looking at a little tiny screen way off in the distance, it feels like. Um, I also have electrical tape on these. I'm a big fan of tie downs and electrical tape and these things have really fine threads and with taping them, I can ensure that they don't come loose and that they always stay on there. Uh, durability wise, knock on wood, I've had absolutely great luck with them other than this little cap on this one here. Um, I've worn them for many nights of hunting. I've banged them up against a car door. I've dropped the helmet. I've done all sorts of stuff. Um, they are holding up great. I have no complaints there. Beautiful picture. Um, another thing, I don't know if a lot of people talk about this, but for me personally, when I looked at these, I wanted to get a different style of thermal compared to what I have on my gun. Um, I've seen coyotes at all sorts of different distances with these, same with my gun, uh, thermal also, but the difference is, you know, sometimes you're looking at something you can't really quite tell what it is, uh, maybe in some bushes or some tall grass or something like that. Well, then you change to your different style of thermal that's not also an IRA um, or whatever core you know you have, and then you can make out a little bit more clearly sometimes exactly what you're looking at. Uh, that's me personally, you know, uh, just what I found to work. Um, I really like that. Um, as for the helmet they're mounted on, um, it's just a cheap bump helmet. Uh, I'm not gonna wear any ballistic helmet or anything because it's heavy and I don't wanna carry it around for no reason. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'd like to think I don't need a ballistic helmet when I'm predator hunting at night. And that's mainly what I use this for. Uh, I also have a set of uh, Peltor contacts on here just in case we ever have someone uh, that comes with us that doesn't have a suppressor. Most of us always run suppressors, but every once in a while, you know, someone might come along with us uh, and they don't have one. Flip those down, turn them on. I can still hear everything. I can still talk to everyone. Uh, and then I'm not having ring ears or deafness for the rest of the night. Overall, I love them. I think they're great. I'm very happy I got 384s over the 640. Um, 384s are, I think it's it's almost like a $2,000 price jump from the 384s up to the 640. I mean, it is a significantly large jump. Um, and these things, I mean, they look great. I'm really happy with them. Um, I would definitely recommend them. And I want to thank Zach from Mid America Optics because he is who hooked me up with them. And that's about all I've got to say about it. So thanks you guys for watching. Stick around. I'm going to try to start doing some more videos. My plan is to try to put out a video every week. Um, just trying to get some other stuff going. We're trying to grow the YouTube channel and everything like that as well. Uh, make sure you check out our uh, website. Also, we've got new tripods on there, ball heads, all of our adapters, everything like that. Um, you guys are, are rocking it with all that stuff, so uh, we want to keep uh, keep it going, and we're always open for suggestions, improvements, comments, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. We want to try to make our product as best as we can for everyone, so I appreciate it, guys.